tomorrow. I'm a host mother here in New Zealand and we've looked after Thai students for approximately seven years now. We've loved having them as part of our family, teaching them about our culture as well as learning about theirs. Thai students need to feel welcome, they need to feel safe and they need to feel part of the family. So we um, help them integrate into our family and then help them integrate into school life and then that flows through into the community. Once the students are feeling um, happy and part of the family, we do things like take them to and from school, we pick them up and drop them off when they want to attend activities outside of school, that might be sporting or cultural activities, and we also do things like invite them to be part of our family activities, which can be as simple as sports on Saturdays. We try to support um, our students in everything they do and with homework. I don't get it. You don't get it? So is it in... So it might be getting them um, feeling confident with schoolwork, with their English, and then that flows through into other areas of their life and as they move on to university. The main difference I think we notice is that the children grow in confidence. They come here, they're usually quite quiet and shy and with the different style of teaching and life in New Zealand, their confidence grows hugely. Is it primary key? And that flows through to interacting with others, through into their schooling and how they deal with life in general. I would put the format in because if I don't put the format in, the zero in front, like in front of the number would not come up. Their experience in New Zealand is very positive and children feel very at home here. I think New Zealand is a really great destination, it's a great location to send your children. It's a very safe, caring environment and children are able to come here and feel very welcome and supported. <laughs> yeah.